Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, brand new podcast. Hey, wait a minute. It's my podcast. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I forgot. Enjoy. Dad's jealous. He wants to be on my podcast too. So we may do a two-parter. What's that? This is part part one. one. (laughs) That'll be part two. Somebody like seriously mauled this book. Are you planning on reading while we're podcasting? No, I didn't want to write about it in here, but somebody did that. Wait, is that from like a library? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just like a class thingy that you, you had to nugget? buy. Nugget? No. Does this look like I bought it? Yeah. What's it called? Paper towns. Paper, Paper town. towels. Paper towels. Paper towns. Paper towns. Is it a good book? What's it about? I don't know. You don't know. You I'm just on like it. the second chapter. Then how do you know it's a good book? Because so far it is. Is it about like relationships or people no. in town or? Hold on. Is it scary? No. Oh, if it was Quentin scary, I like Jacobson it. has spent a lifetime loving the magnificently adventurous Margot Roth Spiegelman from afar. So when she cracks open a window and climbs back into his life dressed like a ninja and summoning him for an indigenous campaign of revenge, he follows. After Wait, there's a ninja? No. She's just like dressed in all black. Oh. Aww. After their all-nighter ends and the day breaks, Q arrives at school to discover that Margot, always an enigma, has now become a mystery. But Q soon learns that there are clues and they're for him. Urged down a disconnected path, the closer he gets, the less Q sees the girl he thought he knew. So it's basically... Him and this girl were really good friends, and now they're not friends anymore. Because she's a ninja. No, just because, like, they're different. Cause and they're a ninja. No, she's not a ninja mom. Are you, you sure? I'm positive. It said she came in the window dressed like a ninja. Only ninjas dress like ninjas. No, mom. Okay. <laughs> so they live next door to each other, and then she goes and she asks him to do 11. Well, so far, she's asking him to do 11 things. Oh, All her. ninja activities? No. Oh. Uh-huh. It's like revenge on these kids at school, mom. <laughs> I'm going to throw this book at with you. ninja think, stuff? <laughs> I'm done with you. And then she goes missing. Because she's a ninja. I swear to God. No, they do top no, secret no. stuff ninjas, right? Yeah. Okay, we're done talking. I mean, Isla knows all about ninja, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> how, how did you come across this book? Did someone recommend it? No. Were you just looking through the library and went, huh, that looks interesting. Uh, oh, cool. I would never choose that book. Oh, because you'd but... never go in a library. <laughs> <laughs> she does go in the library. Yeah. Not I, to check out books. I go on there and my teacher tells me to. Yeah. Not on your own time, though. No, the well, library's boring. What I have fun? to say, when I was your age, I never browsed a library to look for a book. I just See? read Stephen King. Oh, All that's I read scary, was Stephen Mom. King. See, it was very no, scary. So that's no variety, though. You yeah, I know, variety. but he, he, you know, say what you want to say. That dude's a prolific writer. No, yeah, but like the fun part about a library is just looking through books and being like, hey, this is interesting, knowing you never would have picked it. I totally agree. Yeah, but I don't go I was to actually library. complimenting I'm not you, you. I was not saying that was bad. I was actually meant it as a compliment. Oh. You're far ahead of where I was because oh, okay. all I did was just read Stephen King. I didn't even go to libraries because I have the app. You have a digital library, no don't you? No one just Indeed. Well, I wanted to talk to you today because as you know, but I don't know if my people listening know, I'm going on a trip. Yes. Vietnam. Uh huh. I'm going to Vietnam with Sandy. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that? I think that's really cool. You do? Mm-hmm. I think it's really cool too. I'll be gone for ten days. What do you think about that? I think I know exactly what's going to happen during those ten days that you're gone. Tell me. Isla's not going to do anything. <gasps> what does that mean? So I do stuff. I don't okay. think that's true at mom, all. Mom, she does stuff if I yell at her to do it. No, you, I don't even do it when you yell at me. Yeah, that's the tells point. Me to. That's the point. You're going to be gone for 10 days, and I'm going to have the initiative to go, okay, mom's gone, so somebody has to do this. So then I do it, and then I say, you know what? Isla could help me with this. So I ask Isla, she doesn't do it, and she won't do it mm-hmm. until somebody yells at her. 
and this physically pushes her in the room and says, do this now. Physically pushes you. Someone no. has to physically push no. you. No, when Oksana tells me, I'm fine with it. But when he tells me, he's not my mom. He's well, like close he enough. acts like one. She's like, I like, do it now. Well, okay, hold on. When you left your thing in the middle of the bathroom floor, mm. I, had to yell, I yelled at you for two days. Oh, just one day. It was two days. Okay. Well, Oksana's in charge the first weekend. I leave Thursday. She's in charge till Sunday when Dad gets home. Dad's in charge from Sunday to Wednesday. And then Zay's in charge from Wednesday night to Sunday. I get back Sunday night after you're in the bed. Oh. So. Um, like na- next week Sunday or this week Sunday? It's 10 days. This is the longest I've been away from you guys in your entire life. No. no. When you went to London. Was it 10 days? No. Yeah, yeah it was it longer. It was 10 days. It was no, longer. No. no. It was No, no, it wasn't. No, it was only, it was, it was, a, it was a shorter trip. I think it was about it was five days. days. It was eight. Oh, snap. Uh, uh, it wasn't it was, eight. It was eight. No, because no, dad went through one whole school week with us. I remember. Yes. Because he made our which lunch Which is five days. Week. No, and then he had the weekend with us too. Okay, so maybe seven days. Maybe, maybe eight, but it wasn't 10. Could have been 10. I thought it was only five. Yeah, no. mom. Because I remember him five. going on Friday, like, we have the weekend now. But, you know, I, I may have been, I was only in London itself for five days, so maybe I was traveling okay. two days. But whatever, it doesn't matter. This is a long time, and you're older, and you're more able to take care of yourselves and help Oksana and Dad and Zay, because Dad's going to need a lot of help. Of the three of them, I'm most concerned about Dad. Well, be most concerned about Georgia. You are. Why? Because all do everything well hold on i think we're starting the whole trip off on the wrong foot so guess what i have done to help you out your control freak mom isla i have made an envelope for each day that i'm gone (gasps) no what what do you think's in the envelope all the stuff we have to do that you make us do every day. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> so I marked out on your chore chart the things you don't need to sign up for because I just assigned them. That way there's no fighting. There's no fighting over who feeds the dogs. There's I'm no fighting the over who scoops the poop. No kidding. I no, it all alternates and it's all equal. <laughs> and everybody has their fair share. What happens if Isla doesn't feed the dogs? Uh, then the dogs will starve, and I don't think Isla would want the dogs to starve. What if I die in the middle of the process? Well, I would be devastated. So please don't die in the middle of the Mm -hmm. process. But do, you know, it's a lot to ask Oksana and Zay Zay to come and get up at 5 o'clock in the morning to get you guys ready for zero period. It's a lot to ask. So when you open this envelope every day and you see what it is you need to do, it doesn't only show you your chores. It tells you like on Monday, Miss Lucinda, your art teacher is coming. So it reminds you of that. And inside your envelope is her check. So you can pay her when she gives you your lesson. You know, and for Georgia on Saturday, it's a reminder that she has a birthday party. So it's not just your chores. It's like, hey, here's what's happening today. And here's- Am I going to practice on Saturday? Yeah, you're going to practice every day except next Thursday. I have no way to get you to and from softball practice next Thursday. So the only day you're going to skip is next Thursday. Mom, wait. That's the only thing we're skipping. What's that? Birthday party. The birthday party's at noon. When? Like what day? Saturday. Okay, okay. You're fine. I thought you were going to say Sunday. I was like, honey. It's on Saturday. So I've got everything covered with the adults. I just made the the envelope so that you could know what was happening every day and kind of know how you could help the person who's taking care of you, including dad. Mm. So don't get lazy when dad gets here and stop like scooping the cat box and feeding the critters, you know, because you know that your dad will not remember. Are you making him an envelope? I made him a list. (laughs) I'm going to podcast with him later this week about his list and watch him come totally unraveled reading this list. How long is this list? 
it was pretty long. <laughs> like, I'm gone for 10 days and my list was 14 pages Can I long. add like some of my chores on there? You guys have a lot going on between softball and piano and tennis and art lessons and birthday parties and sleepovers and fundraisers and George there's a, a lot. Beast. What'd you say? I said George is a beast. George is a beast. How about me? I have three ba- You know what happened today? What happened Because it was like guy day. Mm-hmm. I, somebody it was I, guy day? Dude day. What does that mean? You dress up as guys. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, George goes to an all-girls Catholic school. So today was guy day. Huh? <laughs> Anyways, um, someone noticed like my Band-Aids, and they said, hey, what'd you get your Band-Aids from? And I said, gaming. Gaming. And they were like, so- what do you mean? I said, I broke my thumbs from gaming. You're crazy. So what are you doing now, Georgia? What's your hardcore interest at the moment? Oh, Mom, you're so Mom. That you're doing six days a week. Oh, <laughs> softball? So you made the high school softball team? Mm, sure. Ooh, whatever. And you have practice five days a week six in a game, a one day a week. Practice five days a week, game, one we day a practice, week. We practice. Oh, okay. Right? Well, we practice before the game. But I yes, know what you mean. You, know, know you, you mean. are right. You, mean. you are right. I am wrong. You have practiced six days a week. Yes. My apologies for being, That's how okay. dare the mother be right when the That's teenage okay. daughter is, is in That's the room. Okay. That's okay. Right? Um, how do you like it? I like it. You do? Mm-hmm. You seem really tired. I am tired. Why are you tired? Because I didn't sleep. Why didn't you sleep? I don't know. Were you anxious about something? Do you have a lot of homework? Be, no, there was nothing to be anxious about. I just didn't go to sleep. I was like in that state where you just kind of lay there with your eyes open and then you realize you're awake and then you look at the clock and it's like three in the morning. Oh, uh, were you afraid a ninja was coming? <laughs> <laughs> I no. Oh, boy. <laughs> so I'm really proud of you for trying out for the softball team and because you haven't played softball for years and that can be scary for someone you haven't played for years you know all the girls you play with have been playing forever so it's a really big deal i'm really proud of you for doing that and i think you have a really great coach who said you know i can see that you're really rusty but if you're willing to commit i'm willing to commit to you that's really cool that's a great message and you've been working really hard since the your practice started like what two weeks ago I think it was two weeks ago, 17th, so about two weeks ago. So I'm really proud of you, baby. I had really good sleep. You had really good sleep? Yeah, because of that pill thing for my spider bites. I know, you had um, Benadryl. You had Benadryl because you had two spider bites on your foot. I think this one's spider you think that? Oh my God, let me see that. Mm. Holy cow, Isla. Let me see. It's a big knot. Oh, fun. It's like dirty. Okay, well, thank goodness Dakota's mm-hmm. moving. Because you got all three of these spider bites at her house. <laughs> so you can't go back to her but house. no one else got a spider bite. It Were you just rolling in a den of spiders? Well, I woke up with a crayon in my hand. You woke up with a crayon yeah. in your hand? Yeah. Why? I don't know. What was happening at that I house? She was drawing the spiders and the spider drawing. Were you sword her. fighting a spider with a crayon? No. no. I just drew. I just got. There was like a pack of crayons next to me. I think I was rolling around and like grabbed you just one. Grabbed one. And there's some in my sleeping bag. (laughs) So back to my trip to Vietnam. So how are you going to feel without mom? Isla? I'm not going to say. Flying. Flying? Is it going to be easy without me? Maybe. There's just going to be less like yelling across the house. Less yelling across the house. Yeah. Okay. Because either you and Isla yell at each other. Or you yell at people to give you stuff. Oh, really? Like you, well, like that's partially our fault, but like you're like, hey, I need your lunch boxes, and then you like, yeah, but okay, yeah, I know okay. that, but then that's like, a different kind of yelling. Yeah, the impression that you're giving me is that I spend my day going, Georgia, where are you? As opposed no. to, I need your lunch boxes. Yeah, that's but yelling. Like, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, so I, t- I, I yell but i'm not yelling no, yeah, in an aggressive no i couldn't find a better word for okay because you're so, not screaming across the house let's c- clarify i'm not punitively yelling at people mm. i am saying where are your lunchbox isla time to get up like that right that's what you mean yeah okay because i couldn't find like there's not a better word 
dinner's ready like that right yeah okay as opposed to me walking through the house and going hello darling your dinner is prepared and no, served but like, is that what you'd rather have no so what do you think will happen when Oksana's here no yelling she'll be there nice won't be yelling she'll be nice and, and sweet she won't let me go to and she won't make me go to zero period yes she will yes she will make you go to zero period yeah I'm missing zero period for 10 days but I don't want to go to zero period too bad, well you have to go to zero period I don't like running a super lap well, that's too... Oh, yeah, I forgot about You'd those. run the super yeah. lap whether you were in zero period or not. Mom, it takes me two minutes to run it. It's so hard. Buddy, it took me like a minute. Georgia, what is up today, girlfriend? What? Booterman. You got some bees in your bonnets. You picking oh, on her? You telling me I'm bonnet. yelling? Oh, yeah. I don't working. yell. I'm not mean. You she might didn't say like you I'm were mean. mean. She yeah, echoes. I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the not yelling. No, Mom. I think anybody would then gather from that, wow, she must spend her whole day yelling at them. Mom, you don't yes. yell. You echo. I echo? Yeah, you're like, I love. Well, then what would you rather me have said? I don't know. You Maybe you could have. through the house. Bellow. Bellow's a good word. <laughs> Bella was less aggressive than yell. It's still the same thing, though. <laughs> it is, but it's a different kind of description, wouldn't you say? No. Okay. So you're looking forward to no yelling. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what, anything else you're looking forward to with no mom? Um. <laughs> no. I don't know. No? Um. Because you're you're um, you're gonna have to do some things that I do for you. That, yeah, I know. Like some laundry. I know. Mm-hmm. Like you're gonna have to clean out your lunchbox <laughs> after school every day. Like I've been asking you to since school started, and no one seems to do. Well, I. You'd let the food rot in there. If yeah, I, I would. It. You yeah, I know you would. <laughs> <laughs> I know you would. Um 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 I, um um um. No cleaning my room. No cleaning your room? Um, why, why do you think that's the case? So your room's just going to smell like B.O. and have everything on George, I have those spray bottles. That is like, The little ones that are like glass, they're this tall. Yeah. I haven't even used all of it. Well, you know, good to mask the B.O. as opposed to taking care of the dirty clothes that are causing the B.O. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like an excellent plan. Well, I don't care what you do while I'm gone. You guys <gasps> do whatever you, you know, you still have to, you have to feed the animals. You have to, because that's that's not fair to the person that's taking care of you. Help them out. That's what I'm concerned with, is that you help them out. Mom. You know? Yeah. Yes? Are the chickens water <laughs> up? Like, do we have to do the chicken stuff? Yes, you yeah, do. Boy. Well, do we have to clean out the bottom of the No, thing? I've already mucked the coop out. The coop's all mucked out. She's got They've got brand new shavings inside their coop and their nesting boxes. Yes, I've already handled all that. That is hard. But you do have to, I mean, we have to replace their water like every other day, and we have to replace their food every like four days. They eat all their food. So I'm gone for 10 days, so someone's got to make sure they have food and water or they'll die. Mm -hmm. Same with the dogs and the cat. Someone's got to make sure they have food and water or they'll die. You know, I guess she'll die. Wait, what's that from? It's from the what's an old lady who swallowed a fly. Oh yeah. Oh, wasn't. Oh, oh, oh. Oh what? Lila, when she was like, when Dad gave her the do- the money and said, uh, the twenty dollar bill, and she, he told her to tell everyone uh, when he said, "Who's my favorite uncle?" and she said, "Uncle Bert." That's right. And Lila's three. Yeah, She's and then cute. she said, uh, "There was an old lady that swallowed a fly or something." Yeah. And Dad said there once was a man from Nantucket. Yeah, it's really classy, Dad. Classy move from Dad. Classy, classy move from Dad. So, what do you think is going to be the hardest thing for Dad when I'm out? Everything. Of town? Uh, yeah. Everything. I think. Okay. So I think. It'll be like him coping with all of it. Coping? Because I don't personally think he's going to have the best time waking up at five in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> or he'll have the best time with waking Isla up nicely. Uh, yeah. Or getting breakfast made. Uh-huh. Or like 
getting us to school on time. Like I told him our morning routine. He said, no, I'm not doing that. I said, yes, he, he did. Yes. yes. No, he yeah, said, but you have to. I said, you have to. You have to get us to school on time. And he's like, no, I'm not doing that. And I said, yes, you are. Well, lucky for you, I, Georgia, I have arranged for Maya's parents, to one of them, to pick you up every day while I'm gone. So you can yes. get to school on time. <laughs> I love mother. And not be stressed out by your sister. You're welcome. Thank you. Your yelling mother did that for you. Thank you. That big yeller, the big, no, mean, nasty yeller. No, but I told him all yeller. about, like, waking up and all that. Like, Isla waking up. And he said, no. No, I'm not doing that. And I said, yes, you are. And he said, I'm not going in there and waking her up. And I said, yes, you are. George is not going to. Well, you know will. he will. No, so well, maybe gonna, what we need to I'll do. I'll run in there, turn the light on, and yeah, leave. Yeah, and then she goes and I tell her, Georgia, turn the light off. And he's like, no. One she time. She runs out of the room, and then she slams the door with the lights on and says, get up. We need to go to breakfast. <laughs> one, time, the- one time I turned the light on and used the megaphone. I said, I will get up. Wow. And then she got really mad at me. I threw a pillow at Do you her. think that Georgia is bossy? Yes. You do? Yes. How is she bossy? In every way possible. Oh, In every way so possible. Nice, really? Do you think that's part of being a big sister? No. Do you, do you think that? It is, Isla. Is it? Yeah. No. Because <laughs> when your little sister doesn't do anything and you need stuff done... She doesn't like do anything? Like flushing the toilet, for example. Yeah. I've yelled at her a million times to flush the toilet. Yeah. She has some kind of mental disorder she shares with her father. Yeah. It's and then the, I, I yell ca- at her. It's the I can of flush the toilet a- a syndrome <laughs> or something. No, I yell at her and then she, I like make her go in there and flush it, but she never does it on her own. Is this true, Isla? And I don't want to flush No, sometimes... Stuff. Sometimes one in like a million times, chance. I, and yeah. I don't want to flush your stuff down the toilet because that's enabling her and saying, "Oh, I'll just flush it every time." Just mm-hmm. flush it every time, then. I'm not going to. If you're mad at me about it, then just flush it. No, because one time you're gonna have a date over, and he's gonna go in, and he's gonna be like, "Oh my God, whose stump is this in the toilet?" And I'll come out and say, "That's Isla's," and then he'll realize, you "Oh, this girl today. never flushes her toilet." <laughs> so and she Isla? leaves her clothes all over the place. Now, hold the phone. Oh. All over the bathroom, all of that. Pot calling the kettle black. We're still on the topic of bossy big sisters. Well, bossy big sister, let me tell you something. Those who live in glass houses should not throw stones. That doesn't make sense. That means you do some of the things you're accusing her of doing. Oh, you may Shut not. Up. You may flush the toilet every time. Every single time every single time I as know. do i as do 99.9 percent of the people on the planet but you do some things yourself lady that's not always great like you leave your clothes in the middle of the floor guess who picked them up i don't leave my clothes in the middle of the floor um so um so do you hear what she's saying about the toilet Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, what do you think about that? What do you think about the fact that you, most of the time after you take a poop, don't flush the toilet? It's what? normal. No, no, it's not. No, it's not normal. It's not normal. It's actually really bad manners. So, and I've been trying to parent this with you since you started using the toilet. So, what do you think it's about? Do you think it's about control? No. Do you think you know that that's going to make her mad, so you leave it? No, I just forget. Why? How do you forget? (laughs) Why isn't it just a habit? Because I just walk out of the bath and wash my hands and feel like something's going to jump out of the shower curtain and catch me. So, if you can create the habit of washing your hands after you poop... Why can't you create the habit of flushing the toilet? I don't know. I just forget the habit. We'll start so, remembering. So, Isla, I challenge you. No. I challenge, challenge you. Like failing. For one week, just one week, flush the toilet every time you get off the toilet. Then George can never yell at me. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, and th- unless you don't flush it, then I do get to yell at you. Here is a life mm-hmm. lesson for both of you. If you don't want that reaction somewhat from someone, stop the behavior. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. If she does if you don't want her to yell at you for not flushing the toilet, start flushing the toilet. She's not asking you for something crazy. And both of you have a really bad aim at the trash can. I 
So I if you could pick your crap up, especially certain types of stuff that is dropped on the floor next to the trash can, that would be awesome as well. Because that's really rude and it's really bad manners. And people come over to our house and use the bathroom and there's just trash all over around the toilet yeah and it's i not found one idea. of those like face pads that isla used and it was stuck to the wall <laughs> <laughs> what like your facial cleanser pads there were like three of them i have like, a story i have a story i'm sure you do i have a story okay so i wash my face okay so yeah. my daily routine i get up I go in the closet, I change for like half an hour, yes. and then I go in the bathroom, I brush my teeth, and I get my face pads, I squirpity squirpity, and then I, I wipe my face, and then I throw it, flop, in the crash can. From across the bathroom? Yeah, and mom, it usually goes in, it bounces off the wall and into the trash can. So you're but, hitting the but, wall with <laughs> cleansing solution from your face, on the reg uh-huh yeah but mom it's it's a good system because it's like a basketball thing it goes uh-huh. like i have it and it goes like Phew, and it goes like and what it, happens when it misses though it, you just leave it? nothing happens it sits there it yeah sits where Georgia. It lands. so i i can't wait to come to your house when you're 25 years old and see that you haven't flushed the toilet for a week mm-hmm. and there's garbage all over your floor from quote aiming at the basketball <laughs> hoop that is your garbage can <laughs> And see how bad your place smells. Talk about B.O. I think it smells a little bit more like a B.M. <laughs> That's why I use for breeze. Is it? Mm-hmm. So, Georgia, let me teach you a little something about your sister and your dad. There's a personality type called a rebel. Rebels, it, it, it is against their instinct to follow the rules. So the more you push a rule on a rebel, the more they rebel. So you have to find a way to encourage them to follow rules from a different angle. You have to be really smart when you're in a relationship with a rebel. We have two rebels that live in our household. Two rebels who don't flush the toilet. Two rebels who, as soon as we're walking out the door, forget something, have to take a poop, has something going on, always late. Because they need to be in control of their situation. Because that's how a rebel works. Doesn't make it wrong. Just makes it different. It just makes it different. And sometimes it can be difficult for people who aren't rebels who go, oh, we got to leave at noon? Okay, fine. No problem. Let's leave at noon. But that's not what happens for them. And when their sister or their mother or their wife is constantly, dad, is constantly saying, could you flush the freaking toilet? The more you push, the more they push back. Wait, Mom. Which you would think you should just be able to, like, like whoop that out of them, you know? Just push them until you make, force them into doing it. But my experience living with Bert Kreischer for 17 years is it doesn't really work that way. You have to be smarter than the rebel. You have to outsmart the rebel. Wait, Mom. The only way you can get them to do that is to outsmart them. So... If you want her to do something, you got to figure out a way to outsmart her. Hey, no. I, and if you if you can figure out the toilet thing, let me know because I've been working on that for how old are you? Twelve? Yeah. Eleven years since you've been part or ten years since you've been potty trained. Um. Yes. So, about the school thing today, when I what school thing? When I forgot my sweatshirt at home, mm-hmm. and then when I found out I had no PE clothes, yes. no uh regular clothes to change into after yeah. PE. Um, why do you throw it all over the gate when um, there was a door right there? Um, I beg your pardon. I think the only comment that should be made to your mother is thank you for bringing me my clothes. Yeah, but you threw because it, over it took the gate. twenty-five minutes out of my morning to go home, get your clothes, and because of the traffic that happens at school right when school starts, I had to get there extra early so I could be standing where I could throw them over the fence. So I think the only answer Wait, is, thank you, Mom, for bringing me my clothes. Because let me tell you this. If you forget your clothes again, I will not do that again. You will be taking a loaner from the Goodwill box at school and borrowing somebody's nappy, nasty clothes. My clothes are in there. So I don't want to hear any kind of critique 
about the way Wait, I delivered on. clothes to you. Hold on. Lady. You yes. stood at the fence and threw them over. Mm-hmm. I stood, yeah, at the surrogate. And I didn't catch either of them. That's well, your that's fault. your fault. Mom, Wait, it went like didn't... this and then this. Yeah, the wind was blowing. <laughs> Both ways. <laughs> I was blowing. <laughs> but seriously, I can't believe you would critique my delivery when I took so much time out of my morning to do that for Wait, you, Mom, Lila. The door was right next to you. The door was not right next to me. It was like five feet away. Uh, Five feet? No. Mm -hmm. It was more like 30 feet. Mm -hmm. So, and then you, yeah. So I think the only answer is, hey, thanks, Mom. I really appreciate that. I didn't feel good, though. See? See? Always an excuse. Can't just say thanks, Mom. I didn't feel good. Can't just say, yeah, yeah, I only uh, have uh, five practices a week, not six. One's a game. Can't just say. Always got to win. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. So, well, as for me with Vietnam, I'm going to miss you guys. I think it's going to be a really fun trip, but I am going to miss you. Is there anything you want from Vietnam? Oh, yes. What? Mm. A shirt. A shirt? A good comfy one. A good comfy shirt? Yeah, and um, if there's any, like, weird and confusing items there that you think I would like that might be green. Weird and confusing items that might be green? Yes. Okay. Or any color. That's random. I guess. It's like saying, okay, I want something round, but I want it to be polka dotted. Okay. Is that what you want? No. <laughs> what do you want from Vietnam? I don't Vietnam? know what I want. You don't know? You want a fan? Can I get <laughs> a dog? A dog? Yeah, yeah. Vietnamese no. dog. Mom, I've needed to get a dog for years. No, we have two dogs, and we are tapped out in the animal department at, at the... Uh, Agnes can we get a tortoise? Yeah. No, we cannot get a tortoise. No. Uh, but Dad said he would get me a tortoise no. on Father's Day. No. Because he said he would get you a tortoise, and then <laughs> I said we cannot have a tortoise, and, and then he said, well, what about an outdoor pet? And I said, that's fine, but not a tortoise, and so he Googled best outdoor pet, and it was chicken, so we got three chickens, so discussion is over. Can we have another chicken? No, we can't can have we another bring chicken. bring down a pig? A pig? Yes, a pig. Where would you put a pig? In our bed. In my room. In your room? Yes, they sleep with me. At no. Night. Yeah. I love. No. Pig plus B-O equals no boys for you. Pigs don't smell. Huh? Pigs don't really smell. Oh, Well, smell. the poop smells. The poop smells terrible. It's the worst poop That's smell ever. That's why we get ever. a farm. Huh? That's why we get a farm. We don't have, no, Buddy. we're not getting a farm. You cray. It's a, it's a baby's a baby so georgia tell me how you're liking high school i like it yeah so what was the biggest challenge going to a high school where you only knew one person only knowing one person that was the biggest challenge do you feel like you've made friends you do made some good friends you know they can't see you nod you have to say yes yes well Mm. that's on yeah but a lot of people listen to a podcast then yes 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 you do are you feeling a little more settled in yeah. Yes. What's your hardest subject at school? Well, like my most boring or my hardest? Your hardest. Okay. And then you can tell me your most boring. French. French is the hardest. I don't like it. You don't like French? Oh, well, no, because she's bon just like, yeah. she <laughs> teaches the class, mm-hmm. but there are so many people who've already taken a year of French, oh. so they are. it's basically review for them, but I it's see. not review for anybody else. Right. So then she's like, she literally the other day taught us everything that should be in our backpack in our classroom. Yeah. And like half the people already knew because they already took a year of French. Right. And then she expects us to come back tomorrow knowing all of them. Oh my goodness. Saying like, this is a pink eraser. And you can say that to her oh, with your eyes closed. in French with yeah. a whole. Like naming 10 things in sentences with your eyes closed that you just know are in your backpack. Oh, that's How, what would you say? It, uh, pink eraser? No, no, it's like I don't know. Uh-huh. I don't even know. Do you need help in French? No. Do you need I a French could tutor? Help you. I don't know. Do you need a French pastry chef? Uh, yeah. Do you need a French ninja? <gasps> oh, mom. <laughs> I think I'm really funny. I don't. I can tell. <laughs> um. So Isla. Uh, okay, Georgia, what's your most, most boring, boring subject? Math. Math? 
I knew you were going to be bored in math. I should have put you in I honors am math. I'm so bored. I should have put you in honors math. Do you want me to see if I can bump you up to honors math next semester? No. You've already had all this math, haven't you? Yeah. She's going really slow. She's going really slow. So then maybe we should see if we should go into honors math. No, because I feel like if I go into honors math, then it'll just be weird. Why? I don't know. Well, your whole schedule will have to change. I'll talk to you. Yeah, and then I I, I can't handle that. Well, your schedule is going to change anyway next semester. No, just power walking is just going to be replaced with health. That's the only change. Are you sure? I'm positive. Same period? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. I looked at my schedule all the way in February, and it's just the same. Uh. I don't want you to be bored. I'm not. Should we mm. do some extra math homework at home? Should we do some like worksheets? No, it's just <gasps> yeah! the class is boring. Oh, it's a class. Like the homework's not boring. Like I finished that really quickly. It's just like we spend most of the class going over practice problems. Oh. And it's like, I know how to do this. And everyone in the class knows how to do it. Okay. And she doesn't understand that the one person who doesn't understand it she get it. She thinks that's everyone. Yeah, got it. She's teaching to the least, maybe. Mm-hmm. Isla, what's your hardest class? Pull the mic closer to your mouth. I have two. Whoa, you have two? Are they equally hardest? Is mm-hmm. one harder than the other? Mm-hmm. Different. Okay, what are they? History yeah. and science. Yeah. Just, um, what's making them hard? everything because she doesn't have my science teacher or my history teacher you're right you had amazing science and history teachers um but i think you have good teachers no yeah you know yeah uh, one one teacher is good we won't say which one but i know which the one. the horse tooth one horse tooth? horse tooth oh that <laughs> he's nice that's so funny she described this one teacher she was like uh you'll know who she is she has a really big butt and the first time I met her, I went, oh, my God, she has a really big butt. She's like one of those people that's got a tiny body. Oh, I know who that is. And a huge butt. But just her butt is big, right? I mean, her butt is like really big, right? So when you told me that, I was like, how big could it be? I mean, really? And I met her and went, oh, my God, she's got a really big butt. <laughs> it's pretty funny. We won't say her name, though, will we? Mm-hmm. So what's your most boring class? boring yeah wait <laughs> i'm trying to think um are all of them boring what's your most boring class i was I, the only class i like i know that one doing but most boring probably math math is the most boring. yeah we're not i don't understand anything that he's teaching you don't no everything is like a confused little thing well that's weird because math's always been your best subject Uh oh it's just like um he's just like telling us like how to do it and then letting us do it by ourselves and Uh whenever he's doing a problem no one can really know what he's saying is like yeah because it's horse teeth oh that's the horse teeth yeah Oh, yeah, and then we are math. all doing it, and only one kid in my table in half of the class knows how to do it and, like, can understand. Who's that kid? A guy named David. He sits across from me, and I'm like, hey, David, can you help me with this? Do you remember that book, No, David? Yeah. No, no David. We read it all the time. <gasps> no, David! Remember No, the David? The sleepy guy. Yes. No, David. Remember no, that in David. Mortimer? My friends. Mortimer, be my quiet. My friend and my two friends would walk out of zero period with us. And the math teacher yeah. would always say, like, hi, guys. And he'd, like, move his upper lip up to his nose. It was really creepy. So you could, he was like. He's really sweet. Showing off his teeth. He's a really sweet guy, though. Yeah. He's really Wait, sweet. Wait, you had him? No, she just saw him. I had the better one. You had the better one? Boy, you're a snooty McSnood about your teachers. Yeah. Although you have a right to be mine your were science better. teacher and your history teacher were pretty amazing. But I love Miss Hermes. Oh, nope, I'm not going to You love Miss Hermes? Miss Hermes is amazing. She is? She's so nice. What makes her amazing? Everything. Everything? She's the nicest teacher I've ever had. She is? Even uh-huh. nicer than Miss Katz? Equally. Oof. Equally? She's like Miss Katz? Yeah. Could never replace Miss Katz, though, right? No. Miss Katz is the best teacher ever. Yeah. We miss her. 
Georgia, who's your favorite teacher? Or, or what's your favorite class? English or biology. Oh, yeah. Cardi B. Cardi B in the house. Are you learning in biology? You like it? I think you need to be in honors math. I'm watching you, lady. I'm watching you. I'm hungry. You're hungry? Yeah. Well, we can wrap up our podcast. This has only been like 40 minutes or something. It's pretty short. I got a 91 on my math test. You did? Oh, my God, Mom. Yeah. Because I turned it in one day late, I had an, an 88 out of 99, and she gave me an F because... Who? Uh, my science teacher. Oh, yeah? Okay, so I turned it in one day late, and she said, you're going to only get half credit for it, so I got a 44 out of 99. Just oh, no. Yeah, and I was supposed to be an 88, and I got an F. Oh, and no. All, and my friend dina got the same thing was it for what uh homework or yeah it was like that 99 page packet that we got why did you turn it in late because i didn't get it a day earlier she didn't really explain it well until the date was due okay but you still turned it in late yeah i turned it in one day late so but that's your fault that you know but like 10 other people turned it in one day late Okay, but late is late. I know, but she ha- gave me half credit for it. Oh, well, it yeah, was... Yeah, because it was late. Yeah, but it was only half credit, and I got an F for it. You know? Well, that so really just... stinks, but maybe next time you'll make sure you turn it in on time. Mm-hmm. Every time. But you worked really hard on that packet. That was a really hard packet. Yeah, it took me two hours. It took you two hours. It was very hard. You don't have another one of those, do you? Do you have another one of those today? Okay, Phew. Mm. so tell me what you think you know about vietnam do you know anything about vietnam yeah what do you know that um um they eat dog they eat dog (laughs) that's what laylee said she was like they eat dog who is laylee Kylie you and know. Lou's grandma. I know, I know, but people listening don't know who Laylee is. Laylee's a really interesting lady. I don't know if you guys know much about Laylee. Yes. Yeah. And she was like, had these pineapples stuck to her or something. She but had he, pineapples stuck to her? Yeah, in school. In the class. stuff you listen to in a conversation just amazes <laughs> there, me. It was jackfruit. Like, you could tell Isla, you could say... <sighs> Isla, did you see that new episode of Spongebob? And then you explain it and she goes, Spongebob wears pink and purple pants and has a bandana tied around his left ankle. Yeah. And then it'll just be really random. It'd be like, what did you listen to? Patrick's a pink boy. Well, she's a very unique thinker. (laughs) But Lele is Sandy's mother-in-law, who is Vietnamese. Sandy is Chinese, but was born in Vietnam. And we are going there because Sandy has business in vietnam and she invited me to dirty tag business. along what's that dirty business no no dirty business dark market no no dark market. it's called the black market island of the dark <laughs> well black <laughs> is dark um it depends it could be light black like light black <laughs> i it's think that white. would be gray it's white. <laughs> um so we are um so yeah Lee is from vietnam um and she is Isla and Georgia's friend's grandmother, Sandy's mother-in-law. And she wrote a book called When Heaven and Earth Changed Places. Do you know about this book that she wrote? No. She wrote this book. And um, a man, a really famous man named Oliver Stone, turned it into a movie called Heaven and Earth. He, uh, Oliver Stone is a really famous movie director. And he did kind of a trilogy about Vietnam and um one of the movies in his trilogy was the movie that was based on the book that Laylee wrote pretty crazy huh yeah first time we had pho she made pho for us right oh my god her pho is so good her pho is really good i want some now i guess like (laughs) she does eat fried chicken feet which freaks me out a little bit they're good they're good you had chicken feet you had chicken feet when did you eat chicken feet i saw her old can of chicken you did was it good? I bet it tastes like pork rinds. Mom, I, I saw her remember. skin a chicken. You saw her skin a chicken? Yeah. Yeah. Was yes. it black? Was the chicken black? Yeah. She buys black chicken to make the huh? Sometimes. It's really interesting to have. We are such a white family. We are so Caucasian that our closest family is so Asian. I think that's really interesting. Uh, it's your normal, I guess. 
because you guys we've been friends with them for so long but i actually started it because <laughs> me and kylie became friends and then you guys just tagged along you are right <laughs> you and kylie were bffs in first grade and then yeah we wouldn't let anyone else play with us because we were playing this fairy princess game <laughs> you were and you guys are still good friends but mm-hmm. um yeah it's been really uh, amazing to watch you guys kind of um experience a lot of what they've offered us like the food that they eat is so different from the food that we eat i like sandy's food she's a great cook sandy has some good meat she got good remember moves. that time when i ate like 80 tacos yes yeah you always eat really good at sandy's house she's a really good cook but i think it's really cool that we have that in our life what do you think mm-hmm yes. There's a camera right there, Georgia. You may want to sit a little more. Spreading. Hey, that's not appropriate. (laughs) That's not okay. Okay. Um. All right. Well. Anything else you guys want to say? I had something. You did. Are those real crocodiles? No, those are not real crocodiles. Yes, (laughs) they're actually alligator heads, but they're not real because they're um. The guy who built this room for dad, the man caves guy, went to the University of Miami and their mascot is a gator. Then why is dad went dad went to Florida State University and they were rival schools. So the guy who had this room built put a gator in an FSU person's room. He did that on purpose. Well I thought it was dead to symbolize something. When uh, dad decides to like knock down the man cave with like a hammer or whatever um (laughs) can i have the heads (laughs) there i like them there's three of them right there's two babies and a mama i like them so we're eat up with gators and it's like the little crystal ball inside the mom's house well dad made that that is a mouth blown glass christmas ornament that dad made on one of his tv shows on trip flip or something where they were going to learn how to mouth blow glass and he blew that ornament and he won't i guess we should put it on our tree one but day. dad made that pretty cool right he's had some kind of life so I'm have you so excited for christmas you're excited for christmas why i love christmas you do because it's just like happy it is happy i have a I'm glad that that's how you feel about Christmas. I love how it gets to like September because then it's just holiday after holiday after holiday. It is. And Papa Jay will be coming out in a couple weeks. And then January is just depressing. January is depressing. Because like it's all over. And you're like, now I have to go back to school. And wait till spring break. Mom. Yeah. When's Halloween? No, or I mean. (laughs) October 31st. I was going to say November 26th. I don't even know. That would be right around Thanksgiving. So we're going out of town for Thanksgiving too, huh? Yeah, Teddy's coming. Teddy's coming. That's right. It'll be really fun. Mm. All right, we're going to end this podcast with a question. Then we have to babysit. (laughs) You don't have have to. I will. Um, Well, that doesn't work. Let's see. Can I read it? No. No. Hold on. I'm I'm pulling questions you can't answer. Why? <laughs> this is <laughs> What? <laughs> I keep pulling these. I should read them to you cuz you go What's your worst driving habit? Well, you don't drive. So I you did drive. That question. Um what would you ask Hugh Hefner if he came to dinner? I don't think you even know who that is. Who? Do you? Is he like a president? <laughs> is he like a president? Something like that. <laughs> if you were given a free Super Bowl ad, what would you advertise? What's a Super Bowl? Exactly. A Super Bowl? <laughs> Who's had too much plastic surgery? Okay, so my best laid plans are not working. Um, oh, Barbie has. Barbie's had the most plastic surgery. Okay, um... What type of stealing is okay? Stealing Accidentally hearts. stealing. Accidentally stealing? Okay, Mom, I have a plan. Oh, I if, have something to say about I love stealing. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Accidental stealing. What do you mean by that? Okay, because I accidentally stole this bone. A bone? No, Mom, from a dog store. Uh, so me and Georgia were on... I remember this so vividly. So we were... Um, me and George were like on like this thing and I was like holding this bone in my hand. It was like a little tiny bone. And then George was sitting next to me and then 
you guys were checking out, I think, with mm-hmm. all the stuff. Then we went in the car, and then I was just, like, holding the bone for 30 minutes, mm-hmm. and I remembered that I forgot to pay for it. Uh-oh. But is that okay? Is yeah, that that's it's okay? fine. No, if not. I forget, and I'm like, I was like three, mom. You have to well, that's accidental credit. for sure. But in the future, if you ever do that, it's always good to go back and pay so for it. Probably the okayest stealing is if you do it and you realize that you did something wrong and you go back and return it. Yeah, because like one time, I this was like a long time ago. When we were like still friends with like, Max and Hadley a long time ago, mm-hmm. I stole one of their deer toys. Oh, and oh, I remember that. I was because I really wanted it. Yeah, and so I took it with me. And the next time we went there, I just put it back. You did because I was like, I don't want this anymore because because now it's mine. Now I don't want it. Right. Oh, it we wasn't about your conscience. You didn't feel bad that you had stolen it. You, I you guess put it I felt back bad. because you said, "Well, now that I've stolen it, I don't want it anymore." I guess I felt bad. Oh, yeah, you. Oh. But no, did. another time, I was at a movie theater with Isla, oh, and yeah. she and took Bunny. a whole bag of candy, like of Reese's Pieces, and she just took it and left. Yeah. And then, the lady said, "You have to put." Well, I no. The lady said, "Like you." Have, like we were getting one thing too many so she should just put one thing back mm-hmm. and i said isla put the candy away she said you didn't pay for that and i said oh then she just took it and so isla put it back and i was like isla you didn't put this on the counter for so her she could pay for it and isla was like no mm. i didn't mean to i didn't know i just took the candy. oh mom i have a really good thing for stealing at uh uh target so you get <laughs> so you get a phone case if you're gonna get a phone case you go into the bathroom get scissors out cut the th- stuff out and then take it off and put it on your phone yeah that's legit stealing and if i ever catch you doing that i will spank you myself no, i just had an idea because i saw ocean's eight you know i, I figured like, that's out that's stealing that's not okay it's so easy to steal fruit fruit yeah why you just take it and you can just start eating it. Okay, now I'm concerned. Are you guys stealing? <laughs> no. And I don't no. know about it? It sounds like you're stealing like regularly here. No. no? I have, uh, that's the only time I've stolen. No, thing. because like you just take an apple, start eating it, and I just leave with like apples and you just peel off the stickers. Yes, I know. I saw somebody at the grocery store the other day that just walked in and took something uh, out of the produce and just walked out of the store. And what are you going to do? You know, she clearly was someone who was homeless. And, you know, part of you wants to go, I'll pay for her apple. But at the same time, you're like, how do you do that? How do you stop her from doing that? I'm sure people do it all the time. But um, Good idea. So when is it okay to steal? Steal something back. Oh, snap. Steal something that was stolen from you? Oh, and steal it back. Hmm. I wonder when it is okay to steal. So, like, if Isla steals scissors from me, I'm just going to go and steal them back. Well, I steal eggs every day from chickens. I think that's okay stealing. (laughs) It's not. They're never going to hatch. They're not fertilized. (laughs) You never know. That's when it's okay to steal, when you're stealing eggs from chickens. No. Or stealing scissors back from Isla. Oh, yeah. Or stealing scissors back from a poor Isla. (laughs) You're just getting (laughs) beat up today by your sister. That's what she gets. Why is that what she gets? Oh, I wish you guys loved each other. We do. Do mm. you? Georgia doesn't. I, don't I love Isla. She okay. doesn't love me, though. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true at all. I think she loves you very much. In <laughs> some ways. <laughs> Thanks, Isla. Okay. By the way, I need a blue tutu. You need a blue what? tutu? Yeah. Oh, this okay, summer. for what? Tomorrow. Yeah, um, go um, say, say Zane on down the line, can baby. Say, you ain't getting one of those. Oh, what? Georgia, I have two twos. Um, I need a blue one. I don't have a blue one. You no one told has me that a blue now. one. We just need to go to like Joanne's and get like a dollar one. They don't have two twos at Joanne's. No, like the fabric and then the no. I'm not making you a two two tonight. I'll make myself one. Why? Uh, you can't tell me this right now. I when you need it tomorrow. It right when did you find out you needed a two two? Today. How? What do you need this two two for? Finding Dory. And I have a white tutu. And, and, and uh, tomorrow, 
and we're doing a pep rally and we need to dress in all blue and they said to go crazy and get tutus so i need a blue tutu mom <laughs> can i tell everyone about my superhero thing no about your superhero thing oh. yes, of what i want to be for yes uh, yes you can. okay so there's like a spirit day at school and everyone's like i want to be superman i want to be supergirl and i was like i want to be an epi pen <laughs> because epi pen saves lives <laughs> So. <laughs> that's a real superhero isn't it yeah it's oh yeah they the asked fake me one. what superhero is dressed up and i was like, they asked me monday they were like what superhero are you dressed up as and i said optimism optimism that's a yeah. good superhero and too. they were like okay that's yeah. a good superhero and i was like no one's gonna dress up as an epi pen because i am ha ha, ha. how do you dress up as okay an EpiPen? you get a gray <laughs> big piece of paper Surrounded by peanuts. you roll it I'm listening. Oh. <laughs> a great piece of paper no. and you roll it. You roll it up into a cone, put it on your head, and then, and then write done on then, it. No. <laughs> and then you get uh, all red and dress up in all red and then get a piece of paper and say EpiPen. Ah, oh, why so are you red? EpiPens? Because Blood? emergency is, um, emergency sign is red and... You, 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 have you googled what an EpiPen looks like? I know no. what one looks like. Well, why, why wouldn't you do that <laughs> to see if you could actually look accurately They're like an EpiPen instead look. of a cone and a red and a sign? Same. Let's look up an EpiPen and see if we can make an okay, EpiPen look, costume. Look, look, look. EpiPen, yeah. EpiPen, look right. All right. Well, thanks, guys, for Wait, talking I'm on. So oh, you're. Oh, EpiPen? sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, thought, I thought this Teens was my podcast. Days. My bad. That's an epiphany. That's not an EpiPen. Uh, e. What's an epiphany? An epiphany is like a realization or like a. Um, not shopping. I'm not gonna. Okay, we're gonna wrap up this podcast. I love. There's no red on this at all. Oh. oh so you need orange socks, you yellow pants, white shirt, blue hat. Did you seriously not know oh, this? Wait, what an epipen turn, looks like? Turn. No. I didn't know that's well, what I'm just going to Why would like I know I what an EpiPen looks like? No one the first day has an EpiPen. Oh, and we I learned how to use an EpiPen. I know. Oh, I did Jackie too. Jackie Chan. Lily Crumpkin has thrown up five times at our house because of nut poisoning. Once. Five. Once. She's thrown up once at our house. She's no, thrown she's up three thrown times. up twice. Once. Because he threw up those... Uh, Hot dogs because we went to the softball party. In our party. backyard. Yeah, and we were playing a spy game. Yeah, but that's because she ate too much. <laughs> that's she not ate, from... She had a slushy, hot dogs, and cotton candy and came here and promptly threw up. Thanks, that had nothing to do bro. with nuts. The, only the chocolate. She ate the chocolate one time that was made in a factory with nuts and she threw up. Poor. That time. And then she had an allergic reaction at Sandy's house because they had cooked some Chinese food in peanut oil. Sandy didn't, but the takeout did. And even though they had asked them if they had... And they said, the restaurant said, no, clearly they had because she got very sick. Mm. She's really allergic. But you're right. I had to learn how to use an EpiPen, but it didn't look like that. Oh, they looked like that for us. Okay. Ooh, so All right. Well, thank you guys for being on my podcast oh, you're and discussing. Welcome, darling. I hope that you, um, hope you have fun while, I, while I'm in Vietnam. I'll bring you back some presents. I have like five spider bites. You have spy, five fault. spider bites? It's like one right here, mm. one right here, one right here. I think there's one right here. And then right Thanks right for sharing, here. buddy. Oh, my goodness. So I have five. You have a lot. All right. Well, you guys, uh, thanks for talking to me. Bye. You, think you don't want to say anything like, Mom, I hope you have a good trip. Mom, okay. Mom I'm going to tell Mom, you that when you leave. Mom, I'm going to miss leave. you so God, much. Fun Mom, I'm going to miss you so much. Isla I'm, is going to start crying. I know cause she shows emotions so very well. Mm. I do not. My name's I do not. Okay, well, anyway. Okay, so everybody say goodbye. Bye. That's a burp. <laughs> that was a bye. Uh, bye, bye, bye.